Here in the South Pole, the world's largest neutrino detector is being made from a cubic kilometer of Antarctic ice. The IceCube Neutrino Observatory is only half done, but it's already bigger than any other neutrino telescope. It could also become the first instrument to detect neutrinos originating from deep space. Building the observatory is an arduous task that involves drilling holes two and a half kilometers deep and dropping in long strings of shiny round detectors. The detectors are designed to look for flashes of light emitted by neutrinos as they smash into the ice. A tower operating structure stands over the place where a hole will be drilled. Two reels feed into it. One of them delivers an electric cable, while the other one uncoils a hose that will release near-boiling water at very high pressure to a drill. A first drill is used to melt a top layer of compacted snow about 50 to 60 meters deep. Then, a second, much heavier drill is lowered. It also carries down instruments to measure the width of the hole, the temperature of the water, and its pressure. As it sinks into the hole made by the first drill, it melts the rock-hard ice below, and for 24 hours will continue to make its way down. It will take 10 hours to resurface. At this point, it will be time for the detectors to be submerged.